And then we come to how to use past time or past verb. Yeah. Okay. So we have we have known and we know that uh, English is divided into future time, present time, and past time. So it's connecting not to the subject, it's not connecting to the object, but it's connecting to the verb. Yeah. So I'm telling you all that the verb in English has several information. And one of the information is the information of time, time of speaking. Whether the time of speaking is in the present time, past time, or future time. Yeah. And today we are going to talk about the verb which is which is connected to past time. So we are learning past verbs. Okay. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, and F. I am in class today. I was in class yesterday. Yeah, so because it's happening right now today, so we use the present verb or present to be. I am in class. But if I talk about yesterday, I in class yesterday. So I use not I am, but I use I was. Yeah, I was or I was in class yesterday. Yeah? Alice is at the library today. Alice was at the library yesterday. So Alice at the library when? Today. Alice is, is at the library today. Alice at the library yesterday. So Alice was at the library yesterday. And it happens automatically. Yeah? So we have to know this yeah, automatically. So do not say I am in this class yesterday. No, it is not right. It is wrong. Yeah. So if you use yesterday, so automatically you use I was. I was in class yesterday. Today, I am in class today. Yeah. My friends are at home today. My friends were at home yesterday. So it happens automatically. When we use today, so we use am, is, or are. Depends on the subject. When we use past, so we use was were, yeah. And also, uh, following with the past information or past time or past time information. Yesterday, last night, two days ago, last week, yeah. Okay, something like that. And the thing that we are learning on this page is about to be. Yeah. So remember, I repeat again, to be. Yeah, so to be is a helping verb. Yeah, it's about to be. So uh, many friends uh, of mine forgot or they don't know when to use to be. Yeah, so to be is used when there are three conditions: noun and noun. Yeah, noun and adjective, noun and prepositions. Yeah, so when we deal with I and then a teacher, I is noun, a teacher is noun, so we use to be in the middle. And then I, noun, and then adjective. I, happy, for example. So we use adjectives. Yeah? And then uh, we use adjective and we use to be in the middle, I mean. Yeah? And then I, and then at home. So at home, at school is a preposition phrase. So we use to be. I am at home. I was at home yesterday. I was at school yesterday. Yeah? Okay. So. Uh, in conclusion, if you don't remember or if you are confused when we use to be, so to be is used in three situations or conditions, three pattern of sentence. Yeah, whether you connect between subject and subject, you connect between subject and adjective, and you connect subject and prepositions. Yeah, it could be prepositions of time or it could be preposition of place. So that's why we use to be yeah, in the middle as a helping verb. Yeah, so noun plus to be plus noun, noun plus to be plus adjective, and then noun plus to be plus preposition of time, or noun plus to be plus prepositions of place. Yeah, okay, so I hope that this explanation can help you and can uh, reduce your confusion about how to use uh, to be or the action verbs. Yeah? Okay guys, it's nice to see you again and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to finish this exercise.
I hope that my step-to-step -step explanation can help you and improve your Okay, so Mary is at the library today. Mary was at the library yesterday. We are in class today. We were in class yesterday. You are busy today. You were busy yesterday. I am happy today. I was happy yesterday. The classroom is hot today. The classroom was hot yesterday. Anne is in her office today. Anne was in her office yesterday. Tom is in his office today. Tom was in his office yesterday. Anne and Tom are in their offices today. Anne and Tom were in their offices yesterday. Okay, let's continue. And then we are going to answer exercise three. Yeah, wasn't or were not. Ken is here today, but he wasn't here yesterday. So make it negative. Okay. And then how about using the negative? Yeah, so negative verb is used when information is not correct. Yeah, negative verb is used when the information is not true. It's not correct, it's not true. So we use uh, negative verbs. Yeah. So for example, I wasn't in class yesterday. I not in class yesterday. So I wasn't in class yesterday. Yeah, or I was not in class yesterday. So the short, short form is much more frequently used than the long form, yeah? Okay, and then the they not at home last night. They not at home last night. So they not at home last night. So they were not at home last night or they weren't at home last night, yeah? So we can use was and were for past to be and if the information is not true and the information is not correct, so we use wasn't or weren't, was not or were not. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's continue. And then we are going to answer exercise three. Yeah, wasn't or were not. Ken is here today, but he wasn't here yesterday. So make it negative. Yeah, I am at home tonight, but I wasn't at home last night. Okay, let's do this.
Okay, and then after fi after finishing the positive verb, negative verb, so we have questions. Number three is uh, questions or question verbs, question sentence. So questions uh, is divided into two. Yeah, so yes, no questions and information questions or WH questions. So remember, yes, no questions and information or WH questions. Yeah, okay. And were you in class yesterday? Was Carlos at home last night? So the structure was was or were plus subject and then plus complement. Yeah. Okay, and the answer, yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Yes, he was or no, he wasn't. Yeah. And then for the WH questions, where were you yesterday? Yeah, in class. Where was Jennifer last night? At home. So remember the patterns, remember the rules, and this is not very complicated. The rule is for yes, no questions, were or was subject, and then the rest of it, the phone work at the question mark. And then for information questions or WH questions, as stated in the in the description below. So the patterns are question words, yeah, like this, question words, yeah. And then to be and then subject and then the rest of the information. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then we are going to answer exercise, the questions in exercise 4. Make questions and give short answer. Yeah, the example is, were you at home last night? No, I wasn't.
Okay, thanks. Okay. This week. As you know that today can be present, past or future. Okay, so we assume that today is past.
This week, oh, they are. They are. So, this week is present. Still, what more questions left? Little bit weird, right? Okay, fine. And then we are coming to simple past tense using. And then using the past simple verb. Yeah, so we are not talking about to be right now. Yeah, past simple verb. Yeah. Okay. And this is what we call. Yeah. And this is what we call regular verbs, or in Bahasa Indonesia, it's called kata kerja peraturan. Yeah. Okay. So when we deal with the regular verbs, so we use uh, the ending of ed at the back. Yeah. So for example, I walk to school every day, but I walk to school yesterday. Yeah. A little bit different uh, pronunciation. Yeah. And then Anne walks to school every day. Yeah. Anne walks to school yesterday yeah okay so we use uh, uh, the ending of ed for regular verbs This week, oh, they are. They are. So, this week is present. Okay, that's 
some. There's still one more questions left. Little bit weird, right? Okay, fine. And then we are coming to simple pastets using ET. Okay. So it often rains in the morning, it rains in the evening. And I. The choices are. Okay, let's continue. I I to school yes my separate morning. So often she so, so often us. Sorry. I have a job at the library. Jump at the library, I work. I work. I work at the library in the evening. I work there. There is a day. When I'm asleep, I often dream. I dream about my family last night. Yeah, you saw me. Wait. 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 I was. She waited. I was. Okay, yeah, so we have done this exercise. And this is the answer. And then for the past time words. So as we know, when, when we are using the past time verbs, so, so the past time words must be connected. So we cannot say, I in class today, I was in class today. No, it's wrong. Yeah. Or I in class yesterday. And then I say, I am in class yesterday. So it's wrong. So the verb, the must be connected to the information of time that we are saying or we are writing yeah and some of the past time words as you can see on the screen <laughs> like this yeah like this or like this yeah okay yeah screen yeah screen like 
like this yeah okay right there yeah, like this yeah are uh, yesterday last and ago yeah so yesterday can be followed by day and then can be followed by morning can be followed by yesterday morning yesterday afternoon yesterday evening yeah and yesterday only yesterday or the specific uh, time uh, I mean the specific uh, condition of the Sun yeah morning afternoon or evening we can we can we can be we can combine with that yeah and then last can be followed by last night last week last month last year yeah last two weeks last three weeks yeah last spring last summer last last uh, last time last Monday last Tuesday last Wednesday yeah okay so last can be followed by night week last week last month last year yeah yeah or can be followed by season last spring last summer yeah last fall yeah and then can be followed by uh, name of month last January last February last April and can be followed by name of days uh, last Monday last Tuesday last Wednesday yeah okay and then the position of last and yesterday is in the front but the position of ago is at the back so for example five minutes ago not ago five minutes no yeah five minutes ago ten minutes ago fifteen minutes ago yeah two hours ago three hours ago one uh, one week ago or last week two weeks ago three weeks ago yeah and then uh, one month ago or last month two months ago yeah so when we say uh, one month ago people usually say last month when we say two months ago yeah so we say we use ago yeah so two months ago yeah okay and then uh, one one year ago yeah people usually use last year when we say two years uh, two year ago so we use ago yeah two year ago yeah okay yeah so you can see the this description yeah okay like this yeah like this yeah description and the past time words yeah, or the past time words information how to express past time so it is connected to past time verbs okay guys so i hope that you understand we can continue to the next part of lesson okay Okay, so I have a job at the library. I work. I work. I work at the library. I work there. There is a I work there. There is a When I'm asleep, I often drink. I drink, but I have a glass of ice. 